Steve and Ben Denoon. You are watching Israeli News Live. Jerusalem is effectively a war zone. Even declared today by Mahmoud Abbas, reported on Arut Shiva, IsraelNationalNews.com, reported this very statement here hours after claiming the Palestinian Authority not declaring an intifada, which is something that Abbas had said on news after his statements earlier in the week, where he had claimed that the Israelis, uh, it is not enough to say, quote unquote, settlers came, but they must be barred from entering the compound by any means. This is our Aqsa, and they have no right to enter, in, enter, excuse me, enter it and desecrate it. Abbas calling the Jews a herd of cattle. Then he goes on Israel's television saying that he had not declared an intifada whatsoever. This is not what he meant when he said stopping them by any means. But yet, after the shooting of Rabbi Yitzhak Glick, just recently on Wednesday, he was shot in the chest in critical condition. The, the doctors say that his, his life is still in jeopardy, but still alive at this moment. He was shot after speaking at a Jewish, uh, excuse me, he's a, he is the founder and head of LIBA, Initiative for Jewish Freedom on the Temple Mount. He was shot on Wednesday night outside the Begin Heritage Center in Jerusalem after the shooter pulled up in a motorcycle or scooter and confirmed his identity before shooting him. Uh, he had been speaking minutes before being shot at the event for Jewish rights on the Temple Mount that had hosted the leading religious figures in, in MK's Likud, MK Moshe uh, Phelan with Glick as he was shot. The, the terrorist who was also killed by special forces, uh, 32-year-old Islamic Jihad terrorist Mutsa Hayazi of Abu Tor in East Jerusalem. The, the Israelis reported that he was resisting arrest when trying to arrest him and was shot and killed. Shortly thereafter, the uh, Islamic Jihad claimed responsibility for the attack and saying it was vengeance for what is going on in Jerusalem. Now the riots, of course, have been going like nuts because the Israeli authorities have closed the Temple Mount, even Al-Aqsa Mosque, to both Jews and, uh, and non-Jews alike being the Arabs, the Palestinians, which this is called a boss to declare war, a declaration of war. Israel's closure of the Temple Mount to all visitors, Jews and Muslims alike, reporting by Israel National News following the shooting of the Temple Mount rights advocate Yehuda Glick is tantamount to a declaration of war, Palestinian Authority Chairman Mahmoud Abbas stated on Thursday. The dangerous Israeli escalation is a declaration of war, on the Palestinian people and his sacred places on the Arab and Islamic nation. His spokesman, Nabi Abu Rodini, quoted him as saying, We hold the Israeli government res uh, responsible for this dangerous escalation in Jerusalem that has reached its peak through the, the closure of the Al-Aqsa Mosque, uh, which is, of course, the Temple Mount. This, uh, this, this morning on AFP was reported there. Now, the problem that we have here. Naturally, he blames the Jewish people, but yet it was the Israeli police, border police, that finally testified on a news program, Channel 2 News, that said that their hands were tied. They would have to stand like dolls while the Palestinians were attacking the Jews. And of course, only a little over a week ago, we had the little baby girl, two years old, and a 21-year-old young lady that were killed by a Palestinian terrorist just driving across the median, ramming up there at uh, Ammunition Hill at the, at the light rail transit system as they were getting off, coming back from the from the, uh, the Kotel, the Wailing Wall. And of course, the police have been made to stand down, not doing anything about all the violence. So the Jewish people, the Israelis, have taken to the street protesting that the police do more to protect them from this escalating violence. And of course... Abbas is blaming the Israelis when the Israelis are doing everything to bow to political pressures and the whims of the European Union and the United States as well. It's about time the Israelis stood up for the Jewish people and for the rights of our homeland, the rights of the capital of Israel, Jerusalem, the rights to the Temple Mount, the most holiest site in all the world that has been desecrated by the Dome of the Rock and the Al-Aqsa Mosque. It is a shame that these items are even there. It should be something should be done soon by the Israeli government to remove them, to restore the very nation that God himself had promised to the Jews that they would return and are now in their homeland. I'm Stephen Bendenu with Israeli News Live.